Okay, quiz 30. Okay, I need someone to read. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Question number one says, In John 15, Jesus told his disciples that they were already washed by the blank he had given them. What's the answer? Word. The word. In John 15, Jesus told his disciples that they must abide or remain in him to be bear fruit. According to this lesson, to abide in Christ means specifically to be depend on him. This lesson offered three kinds of spiritual fruit, which is not one compromise, character, converse, conduct. A compromise. The word persecute means to literally means literally to pursue. A fault. In John 15, Jesus commanded his disciples to love each other just as he loved them. True. That is true. In John 15, Jesus explained that the greatest love was shown by someone laying down his life for others. Briefly explain one way that believers can abide in Christ. Spend time in his word. Now it says explain. So what does that what does that mean? Reading the Bible. What else? Praying. Meditating on it. Whatever those five fingers you did. Yeah. You hear it, you read it, you study it, you uh, memorize it, and you meditate on it. And there are all kinds of, of reading plans that you can do. Um, you can also go with the Bible bingo uh, idea where you just open up your Bible and start reading. Uh, that can mess you up sometimes. You get to the ones that are you know, all of them or whatever, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't want it. And all kinds of ideas about the best way to journal and if you're interested in any of that. Options. Uh, okay, so uh, what was the? Um, so I think that's probably good enough for that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so there's one more, though, right? Yep. There's two reasons why the world system would oppose Christians. Because they're literally against them. <laughs> yeah. There's two reasons why the world system would oppose Christians. You mean, well, they mean like a job system? Like it's hard to get a job because you're a Christian? No, I, I think it's the people who aren't believers are. Why do they are, hate us? What, yeah, or why do they refuse to come to Christ? Yeah, the way the curriculum puts it um, more generally is that the gospel. Uh, I uh, challenge or offend. We all desperately want to be fine on our side. We don't want to, we don't want to. We've never had spent time with a three year old. We know that is true. I had the hardest time getting Josh to realize that he could not be my issue. I do it myself. I do it myself, and that's the way we all are. I don't want help. I want to be enough on my own. And I think that's why that whole lie has come about. You are enough. Uh, 
Um, and then the other thing it, it mentions here is is that you know Jesus was rejected, so his followers were rejected. It shouldn't surprise us, and and, it, and frankly, it, it it should offend us when um, when people reject Christ or reject us. That's to be expected. Questions. So um, you just got a couple of minutes, but um, when you go to do that um, student work in chapter 13, read the introduction and complete the student work, and um, then that'll be due on Monday. Monday? Monday. Not tomorrow, because we've got to talk about it.